Welcome to the HyperWorks 2023 introduction videos. This video is about browser actions. You will see how to review browser content, check and edit detail information, and adapt the browser layout. In case the browser you want to use is not displayed, you can turn it on under View. Per default, you see the model browser left of the graphics area. It lists most of the entity types that are available in the model. Unfolding a category shows available solver keywords or subcategories. Use the right click menu, for example, to show or hide entities through these subcategories. Right click on components and open the components browser. This opens a detailed list of the components in the model. Components are the containers that store elements and geometry. Right-click a component to review it. This will turn the rest of the model transparent. Turn off the review mode and have a look at the top pane of the components browser. The table displays a number of information per each component, like property, thickness, material, and mass. Go back to the model browser and right click on properties to open the properties browser. Note that the active browser is coloring the elements according to their relation to properties. Then, see that this browser also displays detailed information for each property. Now right click on a property to see that you can show and hide or isolate elements by their property. Press Ctrl plus C to return to the previous display status. Let us move from reviewing to editing content. Select one property, then have a look in the lower pane of the browser. This is called the Entity Editor. It shows the details of the property and allows to edit it like for example change thickness or material. You can edit multiple properties at a time by selecting multiple properties, then changing the respective detail, like the thickness. This is not executed here. Now have a look at the selector, which is set to properties. That allows you to select a property by clicking on the related elements in the graphics area. See the property getting selected in the browser too. With one property selected, right-click in the graphics area, then select Edit One Properties. See that the Entity Editor opens standalone, showing the details of the selected property. Let us return briefly to reviewing details. Click the black triangle in front of Material. The related material is shown embedded in edit mode. Change to the component browser and select a component from the list to do the same with property, then material. You can then for example add the Young's modulus as another column to the components list by right-clicking and selecting Add Column. This column will be available now for sorting the table, but also as default filter in the search field. Now switch to the Model Browser and double-click on Materials. See that double-clicking is a shortcut to open the dedicated browser. The browser itself offers the same functionality as seen for example in the property browser. Grab the materials browser in its header bar to undock it. Then dock it to the right side of the graphics area. Now grab the properties browser and drag and drop it on the materials browser. See that you may stack them or arrange them as separate tabs by dropping them either in the upper or the lower area of an existing browser. 
Finally, let us have a look at some general options for browsers. Right-click in the free space of the model browser, then select Close Entity Views. This closes all browsers you opened from the model browser. Another option of interest may be under Configure Browser. Check the box in front of Show Entities under Subfolders. This adds the list of available entities in the model browser, for example under Components or Properties. Be aware that per default, you may not see elements, nodes, or loads listed. This is due to a default limit for these potentially bulky entity types. You may adjust this carefully in the browser configuration. The next video in the series will show you how to work with ribbons and tools. Thanks for watching.